Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and guess what? <gasps> My GoPro mount is done! What? Yeah! Stick around, I'll tell you all about it. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around. Again, it's Joel, I'm the 3D printing nerd, and the GoPro mount I've been working hard at making is finally, finally done. Uh, it, it took a while, and I went through many prototypes, it was a really interesting process because I've never, I've never designed a physical product before. I, I ran into issues and I fixed them and I did user testing and people felt the grips. Look at those grips. Look at those grips. Oh, they're so good. So good. And everything you see here, uh, as far as the rig is concerned, everything you see here was created using, using a <clears throat> 3D modeling software uh, that, that uses JavaScript like language to to create this so I programmatically made this I made this and then I printed this and now and now and now it's available I have this in my Etsy store and stick around to the end of the video and I'll tell you a coupon code where you can get a few dollars off your order huh maybe I'm also going to put this up on the Thingiverse so if you have a 3d printer go to the description below, click the link for the Thingiverse model, and you should be well on your way. Now that we've got the hype and the excitement out of the way, I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about the process. First, I had the model that I downloaded from the Thingiverse, and it worked okay, but it had some issues. Here it is. You can see it here. It was really hard to put together, and I couldn't set it down. And I remember in the video, that I posted about this, I said, I'm gonna make my own. But with the drawbacks, I've, I've decided to build my own. So I followed through. The first thing I did in my process was try to redesign the base. I wanted a base that could support itself if you were to put the rig down and not carry it. I came up with this. This is my first prototype base. You can see here that I, I, I took sections out so it didn't use as much plastic, but it still maintained its strength. It does sit flat, and it has a flat surface here that you can attach the grips to. This was good, and it brought me on my way. Next, what I had to do was create my own grips, and that's when I came up with these. In, in OpenSCAD, I used a few commands to rotate some things and subtract them from a cylinder, and that gave me this design. Let's see, you can kind of see the design there. It's it's not knurling so much as it's just a comfort comfortable bumpy shape on the outside of a cylinder. I modified the base so that more plastic was taken out and I left a flat piece here because what I wanted to do is, is make it so the GoPro could attach with one of its sticky mounts. Um, this, this worked really well but it had some disadvantages one of which is the, the way that I attach this. And I didn't think about this until, until I actually had to go do it. I had to buy some all thread and cut it and then attach acorn nuts on either side. That didn't work too well. And that was kind of, that was really hard to put together. Plus I would have to cut metal all the time and I would have to measure it. And Lord knows I'm not good at measuring things. So this, I had to throw out and call it prototype number one. I'm not done. Prototype number two looks like this. As you can see, uh, prototype two is black and blue. Um, prototype number two also had another change to the base. I removed plastic from this side. It's still flat on top, but then I added a hole because I wanted to be able to attach other cameras besides the GoPro. This way, with this hole, a quarter inch screw, and I can attach a small digital camera or I can attach a video camera that fits between this, this section. This is not as sturdy as the last one because I experimented in using a threaded subtraction model from within this cylinder. Basically, I added, I added threads to the plastic and I used two inch bolts to, uh, to, uh, to screw into it. Um, it. It worked well, but it didn't provide, I don't know if you can see it, it kind of, it flexes a bit too much. So this, I had to abandon this design. 
Uh, it's, it's really, really close though. And I like what I did with widening these holes so that I could fit a socket. It fits. Finally, after user testing a few models and, and, and getting some feedback and, and trying it out on my own, I ended up with this. The grips uh, have a reduced count of, of spirals that I subtracted from the cylinder model so that it's, it's much more comfortable. It's not, with all those bumps before, it was more of a, a massage handle. So you could, I don't know, you could rub it on your back, I guess. Uh, these ones, not so much. These are just good old fashioned grips. The, uh, the, the widened holes are good and still fit a socket. It fits. And with that socket in place, I'm using a six inch, five sixteenth, or I'd say it's a six inch long, five sixteenths inch, 18 thread bolt that goes through here. And then I attach right here a five sixteenths inch, 18 thread nylon lock nut. And then you just hold one end tight and you use a, a socket over here and it tightens it up good and it's very sturdy. That added metal through the handles gives it a really, really good weight. It feels nice and the footage I get from it is fantastic. Oh, almost forgot. I was satisfied with using a, a sticky mount for the GoPro to attach it. It worked really well and my test footage came out great. However, I didn't want you to have to have to put a sticky thing on it if you didn't want to. So then my final modification came, oh, you can't really see it here. Let's see, let's see if I can do this. There we go, so my final modification, I'll put the envelope back there. Aha, uh -huh. there's three holes now. So there's still the center hole for the tripod mount and the quarter inch screw, but then there's these two holes to the side and that's for stability for the next thing. The first GoPro mount I made, well, it looks like this. And I, I was trying to figure out a way to do a good attachment method. And the idea was you would attach it here and then put some sort of screw through it. Uh, that didn't work out too well, so I abandoned that. And went with this. This is a slightly better idea. Slightly. The idea was the same. It was going to sit like this, but it's it's a little rattly, and it only it only had the one screw hole to to hold it in place, and so it would it would wobble, and you don't want wobbly GoPro footage. That's what led me to my next design. What I made is a square block here that has these three holes, so you can still use the center, or you can put two on either side for stability. And then it's got a GoPro attachment on it. And the idea is this, I can make a bunch of these to fit here or here or here, 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 wherever. And, and then I can mount all sorts of things to this. I could, I could make a light mount up here or have a, a, a flash receiver up here, or I can make a handle and attach it here more importantly though, you don't have to use the sticky mount from GoPro to mount your GoPro. Now you can just use this. Granted, you do have to put through two small bolts and then just get some wing nuts to tighten them on the bottom, but that's it. That's all you need. Oh, it's good. Ah, that's it. That's the video. I gave you a good idea of what I did here for this GoPro rig. I told you the benefits of why you should use it. I gave you uh, insight into its, the modular design of the attachment piece. It's released under the Creative Commons non-commercial license on the Thingiverse. Or you can go to my Etsy shop and buy it from me and then I'll just ship it to you. You can pick the color of the handle and the base. Pretty cool. Hey, uh, seriously? I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. Uh, it's something that I'll use all the time. It's, it's, it's useful and, and everyone that's, that's held it has thought this is, a, this is a good idea. It's my first physical product I've designed. 
and I put it through its paces and I went through prototypes and it just felt really, really good. So I hope, I hope you have a 3D printer and can print this and put some, get some use out of it. And if you don't have a 3D printer, I'm more than happy to make one for you. Thanks for watching. High five. <gasps> GoPro high five. <laughs>